Hey guys, Harry Thomas here and welcome to my updated ranking of uh, the 20 movies of the animation studio that has even overtaken Disney uh, nowadays, uh, Pixar themselves. Uh, just as it's about time we received Incredibles 2, it's about time I update my ranking including Coco and uh, the Incredibles 2. Uh, so without further ado, uh, if you want to see uh, my uh, ranking of uh, the uh, 20 movies uh, from uh, the uh, studio that can do no wrong then please keep on watching at number 20 at the bottom and the worst pixar movie period eight years later cars 2 ah pixar why the fuck would you release a a cars 2 uh, in favor of an incredibles 2 if only we had incredibles 2 in 2011 instead at number 19 the good dinosaur 2015 was the first year pixar released two flicks uh, and how come that year uh, one of uh, their movies uh, turned out uh, to be one of their finest and the other uh, their most uh, disappointing yet you can see why this movie's production uh, was a nightmare from the get-go. It was originally going to be released in 2014, but they uh, pushed it back to 2015. Uh, yep, yeah, a uh, bad move, Pixar. Releasing it on the eve of the powerhouse, that was The Force Awakens, uh, which uh, everybody uh, uh, checked out, uh, but uh, nobody checked out Good Dinosaur. And, uh, it's still Pixar's lowest grossing movie. Aside from some gorgeous uh, uh, backgrounds uh, in the animation. The dinosaurs uh, look like uh, plastic dino toys from the gift shop. Uh, uh, the uh, movie rips off Lion King entirely. At number 18, the most unpopular opinion uh, period on this uh, ranking, but Wally. Uh, uh, please don't take it personally. I don't get me wrong, I don't hate Wally, but masterpiece my ass. Uh, uh, and this movie uh, didn't deserve the Academy Award for Best Animated Feature back in 2008. Wally and Eva's love story is uh, legitimately adorable with little dialogue. The second half of Wally sucks. Uh, uh, the, the, this movie is ruined uh, by its uh, vastly inferior second half. I mean, uh, the humans living on the, the Axion uh, and, they've, and they've gained a weight and Wally and Eve just doing a bunch of shit on the Axion that serves nothing to the plot and the villain also. He's an animated ripoff of Whole 9 one thousand from 2001 A Space Odyssey, a far superior villain, uh, yet put, uh, Wally is Pixar's most overrated movie to date. At number 17, Cars 3. Cars 3 to me uh, isn't that bad, uh, far from a groundbreaker, uh, but decent. Uh, thankfully, Lightning McQueen is back in the role of a protagonist uh, this time, uh, uh, rather than Mater, and uh, uh, and Cruz Ramirez, uh, yeah, but, uh, yeah, 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 her storyline uh, was was uh, was awesome and uh, and inspiring. Uh, that was such a generous thing of McQueen to uh, you know uh, 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 pass the torch to her uh, in the final race. Uh, and uh, the movie does uh, uh, pay homage uh, to uh, Doc Hudson, uh, which uh, which is awesome. Although uh, Jackson Storm, uh, uh, such a weak uh, villain, and the movie totally deserved to be uh, darker, like uh, the trailer implies, uh, uh, like. Uh, McQueen uh, literally recovers instantly after the crash. But hey, this mo but hey, this movie sort of redeems the Cars franchise uh, after Cars 2. At number at number 16, Finding Dory, the sequel in which uh, Dory is switched uh, to uh, the primary focus. But it's still great, so better than we predicted, considering uh, it wasn't the most necessary Pixar sequel uh, ever. Uh, uh, yeah, but, uh, uh, it, I, I adored uh, uh, discovering uh, Dory's backstory and meeting her parents, uh, Jenny and Charlie, and the movie's message about uh, uh, Dory's disability, her short-term memory loss actually becoming her strength. I related to that uh, as uh, I'm uh, slightly autistic and Hank the Octopus Destiny uh, 
Hank the Octopus and Destiny the Whale Shark are wonderful uh, supporting uh, characters, uh, although uh, Marlin and Nemo weren't necessary. But Dory was the greatest character in the original Finding Nemo, uh, so if anybody deserved uh, their own sequel, it's her. At number 15, Cars. Uh, critics called this movie low for Pixar uh, back then, but I've always had some uh, nostalgia for this movie, and of the Cars trilogy, this is by far uh, the best. Uh, 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 the sequels uh, may not have been necessary, but in this movie, uh, yep, yeah, lightning uh, uh, McQueen's uh, journey uh, from uh, being uh, a, a douchebag to uh, a uh, to a kinder hearted and uh, sociable uh, hero uh, was an engaging one. Doc Hudson, uh, such a uh, underrated Pixar character. The racing sequences are epic, although Chick Hick Hicks. Uh, is uh, the weak link in this movie, a uh, meh villain. But other than that, uh, uh, Cars is underrated. At number 14, A Bug's Life, also a underrated classic uh, from Pixar, and Pixar, Pixar's second uh, feature-length movie. Uh, so how come it's forgotten? I, for the record, like this movie better than Ants. Uh, Flick uh, is uh, an extremely sympathetic uh, underdog uh, hero. Uh, the, the Ants uh, literally treat him like shit, except for Dotsa. Dotsa is uh, uh, super adorable and Hopper being among one of Pixar's most ruthless and gracist uh, villains uh, uh, like ever. Bugs Life haters have to admit this movie has uh, one of the most epic uh, Pixar throwdowns uh, ever uh, as well as a, a strong uh, message about uh, democracy uh, standing up uh, to a dictatorship. Number 13, Monsters University. I've ranked this movie higher on a bug's life on my ranking this time, as uh, as nobody requested Monsters University to have a, uh, a college prequel explaining Mike and Sully's uh, uh, entire backstory. They, they would have liked it better if it was a sequel focusing on Boo uh, as a, a teenager. I would have liked that better also. Fingers crossed there's a Monsters Inc. 2 in the works, but Monsters University Versity, uh, this uh, is uh, a, a, a a wonderful prequel. I've upped my rating to four and a half stars out of five uh, this time. Uh, uh, man, was it uh, a dramatic twist that Mike, uh, back in college, was the one who was passionate about scaring and Sully didn't give a shit. So, and, and the third act of this movie, heart-wrenching and uh, uh, yet uh, 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 satisfying at the same time. Indeed, hard scrabble. A, uh, also an underrated Pixar character, Helen Mirren, a uh, top uh, freaking notch at voice acting. Although Randall uh, was uh, wasted as shit in this movie, I would have loved to have seen Randall's turn to the dark side a little more. But yeah, uh, uh, but yeah, Monsters uh, University, this movie doesn't deserve uh, the hate that it gets. Uh, at number 12, up uh, uh, slightly uh, lower on my list this time round than my original ranking, but up uh, is uh, still uh, uh, a, 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 a masterpiece uh, from my favourite uh, Pixar director, uh, uh, Pete Doctor. The first five minutes of up uh, are electrifying filmmaking, and the message uh, uh, will uh, relate to you especially once you uh, 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 reach uh, a great age, uh, that uh, uh, life itself uh, uh, is an adventure. Takes you on one hell of an adventure with uh, Carl and uh, Russell, uh, Doug, uh, the uh, lovable talking dog, and Kevin, uh, the uh, the chocoholic uh, burza that, uh, uh, that steals uh, this entire movie. At number 11, a movie I didn't get to include on my previous Pixar ranking as it wasn't released in theaters at the time. I'm a Coco, and Coco is the most surprisingly awesome Pixar movie I have ever seen in my entire life. Uh, uh, I was predicting from the trailers from the get-go this was just going to be a weak uh, uh, rehash of Book of Life, but in fact uh, it's nothing like Book of Life. If anything, it's superior to Book of Life in every way, shape, and form. Uh, just, uh, uh, and spoiler alert, uh, Coco is the great-grandmother of uh, Miguel's uh, family. This movie has uh, themes uh, of uh, your family always uh, being with you even after death, uh, when Miguel means meets uh, his uh, deceased ancestors uh, in uh, the next uh, realm and uh, 
and and uh, uh, the twist uh, that uh, Oster Della Cruz uh, was actually a total dick and not Miguel's great grandfather, but Hector was his great grandfather. That twist uh, 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 was uh, was ballsy and and it worked. Uh, and the Remember Me uh, sequence, uh, I can't uh, watch uh, uh, that uh, sequence uh, without shedding a tear. At number 10, it's rare for uh, somebody to rank Brave uh, over Wally, uh, but uh, I'm going to uh, do it uh, Brave. Uh, I am continuing my Brave uh, defense uh, of uh, this underrated Pixar movie. Sure, Brave is one of the most uh, hated uh, Pixar movies. Uh, that uh, the studio has ever released, uh, but it also has hit its fans in the minority and defenders, and I'm one of them. I absolutely love this movie. I don't uh, care uh, what uh, uh, the haters say. Uh, yeah, but uh, Brave uh, has uh, the uh, most uh, awesome uh, mother and daughter relationship I've seen, well, in, in, in an animated movie, uh, which which is what makes this movie uh, entirely original. It's about the mother and daughter focus, it's in, and there's no uh, prince love interest for Merida this time. The most uh, underrated uh, and one of the most uh, uh, intense and meaningful Pixar climaxes with the bear fights uh, with Mordu and Eleanor to the second sundown of oh, that sequence uh, uh, is uh, right up there with one of my top 10 saddest movie endings of uh, areas. Uh, yet put a uh, uh, sorry wreck it Ralph get the fuck out of here Braver is the deservant winner of best animated feature for 2012 at number nine also a under races a uh, Pixar a work of art a uh, ratatouille this movie is as artsy as a uh, Remy's uh, recipes a uh, yet per uh, Remy is a protagonist uh, uh, who is a uh, uh, extremely uh, uh, talented uh, uh, about uh, uh, cooking in 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 which which uh, I uh, uh, related to since uh, I have my uh, talents uh, with my artwork. And that's uh, that's the theme of this movie. Uh, you know, uh, not everybody is uh, uh, talented at everything. We have a talent at something, which translates Gusto's catchphrase, anyone can cook. Anton Ego, a most underrated character in this movie, voiced by Peter O'Toole. Here's a speech at the end uh, when he's uh, a, a changed man for the better. Uh, that's... Uh, moment is a landmark uh, in in Pixar movies at number eight inside out said uh, uh, in yeah inside uh, out uh, uh, was uh, uh, a a movie that uh, will uh, relieve you if you're uh, uh, going through uh, uh, a emotional time the doctor shows he's a expert of making animated movies as uh, his his daughter inspires him to direct uh, this movie uh, so and and the idea that 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 said uh, Riley's emotions are 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 characters themselves and uh, and a uh, uh, joy uh, uh, at starting out as uh, uh, a jerk to sadness, uh, but uh, realizing that sadness is necessary whenever Riley needs her. Uh, that's a uh, man that's thought provoking i was going through an emotional phase uh, when i was a uh, uh, riley's age uh, but but i moved on uh, from it so at number seven finding nemo i know you're all like harry how has uh finding nemo not made the top five uh, don't get me wrong finding nemo is one of my favorite animated movies of all time for sure the story's one of the greatest pixar characters she encourages us to keep going or in her case just keep swimming Collins. uh, uh uh, a journey to realizing that uh, he must uh, let go of his paranoia and just uh, face uh, life uh, for what it is. Uh. At number six, The Incredibles. At the time, this was my third favorite Pixar movie until its sequel uh, 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 topped it. Still the greatest Fantastic Four movie uh, we'll ever receive. At number five, its superior and totally wicked sequel, Incredibles 2. Uh, even better uh, than the first, Brad Bird worked his bus off. Number four, three, and two, Toy Story. Toy Story three and Toy Story two. That's my orderly ranking of the trilogy uh, in which uh, has got a friend in me. And my number one Pixar movie is I Wouldn't Have Nothing If I Didn't Have You, Monster Zinc. Uh, this is the ideal Pixar movie. So that's my updated Pixar ranking until Toy Story four. Screw Toy Story four. Well, I love you guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this ranking. What's your ranking of Pixar? Please comment and let me know. Please like this video and subscribe. 
like, please follow me on Twitter and on Google Plus and on Instagram. And I'll see you all next time. And remember, movies are us. Bye, guys.